Howdy, Mark Serbu, gun designer, gun nut. So why am I looking at a weird old shotgun with lots of surface rust on it? Boo. And by the way, this gun was actually made, this particular one was made in 1894. <laughs> it's a model 1889 Remington, but made in 1894 based on the serial number. Crazy, crazy old. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Uh, got a buddy whose dad had to go into assisted living and his gun collection uh, could not go. So the son is getting rid of it. And he's like, oh, I'm just going to go to the police buyback and get 100 bucks a gun. I'm like, no, don't you dare do that. So I took on this task of offloading these guns. Well, putting them on gun broker, basically. But God, these, you know, unfortunately, they've been stored in a safe in a garage in Florida. And, uh, you know, somebody wasn't careful and there's surface rust on a, a fair number of these. Let's go look at some, some others. Now this one, this is, I don't know, Stevens. It looks, looks too new though. This looks, yeah, this doesn't look like an old classic. Same with this. You can just tell by the forehand. It's just very plain looking. Uh, not like these, these old. Look at, look at this, geez crazy there's a couple of these are called sterling worth which i had never even heard of before um uh, this is a, just a stevens this is a remington semi-auto 22 that's kind of rusty and lacking its uh, recoil spring this one is a little messed up it's a browning uh semi-auto i've actually got that on gun broker right now with a 500 hundred dollar starting bid usually i put a 25 five dollar starting bid because yeah, just whatever. Uh, but this one, I'm like, you know what? If it doesn't go for at least 500 bucks, I'm just going to keep it. Mainly because it's just, it's an interesting design. It's, uh, it's, it bottom ejects. It's got a beautifully smooth action. But, you know, this has finish is issues just like the other ones. Um, so it's not a pristine example. But for me, you know, it's good enough because it's, you know, all the mechanical stuff's there. And I've got a, one of these is a, a Parker. Parker Brothers. So I think these four are up there right now, and they've got really. This has no bids. This has. These have pretty low bids, but uh, yes, this is a bunch of junk I was moving out of the way here, so I could bring my car in to do some work on it. Yes, that's what you do sometimes in the shop on the weekends. All right. So what's really crazy is here's this video that. You know, I took off the other channel because it was demonetized and, you know, it shows machine guns. It is a machine gun. shows machine guns being fired. So, you know, YouTube hates it. So I stuck it on this channel because it's not monetized. So who cares if there are machine guns on there? Well, as soon as I put it on there, um, I guess I had about, I don't know, 3,000 hours of views. And after putting this video up there, it went from... It went from that number to, oh God, it, it went to 4,000 almost right away, and then it doubled within two days. And it's just insane. Now the thing's got 120,000 views in not even a month. And uh, it's, it's crazy, because you know obviously not making any money off of it, and if I try to monetize it, they won't, they won't allow it. And they, of course, if I try to keep that on this channel, they probably won't monetize the channel. So it kind of sucks. I, I've got to decide, do I just keep the new channel as it is, make it, a place where I deposit all the you know, evil, bad videos showing machine guns, or do I take down all the machine gun videos and just put them back one at a time without trying to get them monetized? But you know, then you risk getting the whole channel demonetized, like I've had happen before. But I don't know; it's tough. I think I'm going to have to end up taking down every video here that's got machine gun firing and anything you know slightly off to YouTube, and go ahead and get it monetized, and then try to you know risk putting them back one at a time and not requesting monetization and maybe maybe they'll uh they'll sneak through who knows but uh it's pretty interesting how, how this video just really took off and and i guess now my 4,000 minimum hours required has ballooned to god i don't know it's over 10,000 i think uh, it's neat it's neat but it's it's crazy and i can tell this thing has gotten so widely circulated because there are a lot of people commenting who definitely aren't gun people so somehow this is getting in other people's feeds. They're like, why am I being shown this? But 
hey, that's cool. They're, for some reason, they're watching it. Even if they do leave an ugly, nasty, I hate gun type of comment, it's, uh, it's good for the algorithm, I guess. Thanks for watching. And just a quick update here. Uh, and just, you know, we'll see how this whole thing goes. It's, uh, it's kind of fun, I guess. I'll tell you what's not fun is a uh, gun broker, man. I'm I'm getting so screwed on, on on these guns helping my buddy out. I mean, I, I told him, yeah, I'll do it for ten percent, and I'm like, oh god, what was I thinking? But like I said, it was it was more about not having him turn these into a gun buyback for a hundred dollars a piece, and ultimately getting destroyed. So this these are these are rescue guns. So I'm doing my part in rescuing these guns, and that, that can you imagine that an 1894 gun just getting chopped up? Because, oh yeah, I, just, yeah, I don't care, I just get money, I don't hassle it now. So that's why I suckered myself. And who knows, what if he actually, that, that was his plan. I'm going to find out, because that would be, that'd be rot. Thanks, appreciate you as always. Catch you next time. Oh, I, don't love you. I don't love you, but I don't mean you any specific harm. You know, the guys who say I love you, and they probably don't mean it, but they get more views so, and more subscribers. So if I love you guys, will you subscribe more? I love you, whoever you are. And, just happened across this video so i love you so much especially if you subscribe <laughs> dumb dumb stuff we gotta go through what the hell